Right? Yeah. Yeah, that's no problem. You can record. I, I don't need. I don't need you. Uh, Do you want to set it up? Are what? You okay to talk? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. So as a result, yeah. as a result of speaking to my partner yesterday, there's cons see. there's concerns. I, I, I prefer to stand if you're okay with that, please and thank you. After speaking to our, my partner yesterday, there's some concerns for your safety, right? We understand what your 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 yep yeah, your standpoint, right? The reason why you're doing what you're doing is to to take a stand against the city, correct? Not the city. Government. The government. Okay, yes, the government. But as you know, what I can say from one person to another, human, how you said yesterday, from one human to another, it's a. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You're saying you're human? Yeah. Tell you, me one. You just. Tell me one thing you do as a human. Breathe. No. All animals, animals breathe. breathe. Okay. Okay, keep doing I'm it. I'm just letting you keep know. Keep trying. You're, no, you're, you're not you human. You asked me a question, I answered it. You're not human. Okay. So, as a result. Wait a second. You're saying you're human, I'm saying you're not human. Mm -hmm. You have to become human. Okay. It's very difficult. Okay. No problem. See? That's how you identified yourself outside. You, so serve, you serve corrupted government. You're part so, of that big system. Okay. You come in here like this. Mm -hmm. Are we are we so dangerous to you? Look at us. I hope not. I hope I hope what everything that? goes smoothly. What? I don't know you. My job, I have to make sure that I protect myself and protect everyone that I'm dealing with. Right? Yesterday, That's the purpose. Wait a second, wait a second. Yesterday a bunch of your colleagues came mm -hmm. and uh, also on a, like almost SWAT team. You should bring tanks yeah, next time. Yeah, you can let them know that. Yeah. You know, and my uh, boss is here as well. Just so you know, he was. Oh, why? Why is it charade? Why? Why this guns? Why this? You like guns? Yeah. This is. Yeah. This is my uniform. This is what they gave me to wear every day. Yesterday they told us, "Oh, we're gonna check on you again." Yeah. I'm like, come, but it's, come, come so like that, this. Come yeah. at least like this, we'll like go, her. We'll yeah. What is without? She's anything. not a police Sir, officer. Just let you know. I'm a mental health worker with St. Joseph's Hospital. We are part of a specialized unit, the Rapid Response Unit with Hamilton Police Services care. in St. Joseph's Hospital. But That's why I'm dressed. Come on, this, this normal clothes. You know, why, why is this? Part My boss them. tells me this is what I have to wear, so this is what I wear. This is what they've given us, right? That's why it's called a uniform, so we all have the same why one on, so we can at, be identified. Why did you come at 8 o'clock? It's our time to go to sleep, actually. My apologies. My apologies for coming at a time that's not convenient for you. But why did you come? I, I was going to let you know. You you had some you had some questions for me, and now the reason why I'm telling you why we were here. My colleagues came out yesterday. They submitted a report based on your interactions. We have some concerns for your well-being and your safety. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. So You're nice of you. So nice of you. It's so hypocritical, actually. When we are approaching God, we sent you lots of information. Yeah, we, so, we sent them. All our demands. We don't need. You know, they were ignoring, ignoring, ignoring for three years. Okay. Creating us with a, you know. This is the government? Yes, city. Okay. And uh, provincial, so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but you say you're concerned about our safety. Mm -hmm. We actually in a much, much better position than you. Okay. Because you guys are there. Okay. More in trouble. Okay. You're more in trouble. Your soul. Is so there. Gonna, so what by, I'd like by, to clarify by doing this uh, pledge of allegiance, you annihilate your conscience. Mm -hmm. So whether it's moral or not, you pledged to do the what government or somebody else mm -hmm. gonna tell you to do. Because you mm -hmm. swear. So you allegiance. sold your soul. Mm -hmm. And that's so that puts you in actually very uh, So I'm not here to get into that debate. Uh, uh, but what we I am are here to get into that debate. Okay, that's I'm not we here to get into that debate. You. What I'm here to let you know is that based on the concerns that were put forward yesterday with your report, we have contacted a judge, and the judge has issued issue what's called a Form 2. What that is to do, and this is it directs me, being a police officer, that I'm to take both of you to St. Joseph's Hospital right now for an examination. No way. No way. Unfortunately, I don't have that with you. We don't have that you have discretion. No right. You have no right. You have no right to do that. You have no right. No. That's what this is for. That's I can let you know that's what I'm trying to say. Privacy. It's a form for the Ministry of Health that's, been backed, care. that's we, been backed by a provincial judge. We don't care about that. Yeah. Mean anything we don't care about Okay. That, that's neither here nor there if you care or not. This is my authorities and this is what I have to do. Wow. So wow. I hope, I beg of you to come cooperatively. No. So you're not going to come cooperatively? No. I don't, so what is, you're not authority. 
Okay. Oh God, there's a story. You cannot do this. That I respect that for you. Unfortunately, my standpoint and my position is that I'm paid to enforce this. Okay, this is my job. This, this is my job. This no. is my role. I have an obligation. Wow, you are, I took, you I are, took an oath you are really, to serve and protect. You're really and, my, and just to let you know, my, I'm here to protect you. The reason, the reason why I want to take you there practice. is to protect you guys to make sure that you're safe. Wow. So what happens we, is we go to St. Joseph's Hospital. You're hypocrite. You speak to the you're doctor. Hypocrite. You speak to the doctor. You're hypocrite. Okay. I don't believe I am. That's your that's your that's your opinion. You're entitled to your opinion. You're evil. Okay. That's your opinion. You don't know forcefully me. Forcefully to take us to hospital. Well, Are I you don't kidding want, me? I don't want to do it forcefully. That's why I'm hoping that you'll assist me. That you'll, oh, you'll, that's you'll, that you'll accompany me. That's a hypocrite. Why am I a hypocrite? Because asking, you're forcing me. Because yeah. you're saying it's for yeah. our So what this, is, what this is saying, yes, you're right. This is forcing us to make you go to the hospital. That's right. That's what these are. These are we don't care. Who, 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 who sends this to us? So is what that, I'm asking is that you come cooperatively. No. Okay. No. Well, and no. I would. I would not. I would rather not go hands on with you. I don't want to force you physically. Wow. This form, guys, just and I'm a mental. Studios and the Pulse of Great Millstone, who rule well, and this teaching us is true. All right, I'd like to give a double citation to the whole foot leg, man. To you brothers out there sincerely doing this work with all righteous and, and sincerity, risking your lives and your freedom to do so now more so than ever. To the scattered elect. That being likened to the speckled bird, all right, then look like the heathen, and to the aqua that are listening and learning, to you I say Shang Wong. And hey, man, as you see right here, okay, all right, I did a video in a lesson yesterday telling you that HR, okay, 666, uh, Trace, uh, Trace Act, it was coming, man. That's which means, means they're going to forcefully, if they feel like if you've been in contact with somebody who has the COVID-19, they were going to forcefully remove you out of their home, out of your homes. And this is proof, man. We told you this shit was coming. Okay? We told you through the spirit and power of your how about shim yo shy, man. Okay? Now, I'm not going to play this whole video, man. It, it's it's a long video, but you can go watch this video for yourself. And this from the Brothers GMS Upon Precept page. All right. Y'all can go watch that whole video for yourself, man. But hey, we told you this was coming. This is finna come. All right. Do the spirit and power. Yeah, how about Shimmy Yao Shot? We have warned you that these folks was finna do that. And now you see the proof in the pudding, man. Here it is, right in front of your damn face. <laughs> Cops showed up, knock on these folks' door, and, you know, telling them that they got to be removed out of their homes and take them to somehow, take them to a hospital to see if they got the COVID-19 or not, man, to test them. <laughs> man, hey, we told you through the spirit and power, y'all about seeing y'all shy, this was coming, okay? So, I'm going to get a couple of descriptions and then I'm going to close this thing out. All right, stay tuned. All right, this is Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. All right, this is the time of Jacob's trouble, man. Okay, this is no joke anymore, man. You Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans need to wake up and realize this devil is about to come down with great wrath. Why? Because he knows he has but a short time. We're going to get that scripture. Okay? This is Jeremiah 30, 30 and 7 again. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. But he shall be saved out of it. Who's going to be saved out of it? The whole full neck. Okay? All right? The hour of temptation is coming, man. And here we are, man. All right? Let's get. right? Let's go to Daniel. Let me move that down. It's not. Daniel 12 and 1. Okay. This is Daniel chapter 12 and verse 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which shall stand, snucky, which standing for the children of thy people. You Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And there shall be a time of trouble. Jacob's trouble, man. Okay. We just got through reading that in Jeremiah 30 and 7. Such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. 
Okay, it's about to be a time of trouble that has never been recorded in human history, man. There's going to be a lot of bloodshed out here, a lot of bodies, dead bodies on the streets. There's about to be uprisings and civil, and this is basically what's going to lead to uprisings and uh, civil unrest, man. Okay, <laughs> these people coming to these folks, all these folks ain't going to go for that shit. <laughs> hey, but hey, this is the time we coming into, man. All right. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. Who? The whole full leg. All right. 144,000 and one third leg. Well, we're going to one. Okay. But hey, but we got to go through the hour of temptation, man. Okay. Let's get that scripture. Let's go to. Actually, let's go to. Before I get that, let's go to Revelations chapter 2 and verse 10. All right. Because this is coming, man. All right. All right. And hey. You should have been preparing yourself through the power of Yahabashin Yahushai by watching these lessons and studying and diligently seeking Yahabashin Yahushai and coming back to your power. Because these are the times you're going to need to call on those names, okay? Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, all right? For you Israelites, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay? This is Revelation chapter 2 and verse 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Who is the devil? Esau, even the so-called white man. And what those prisons represent? Those concentration and FEMA camps. Okay? That ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. We got to be faithful unto death, man. Okay? Even if it means us being put to death. Okay? So, hey. Alright? <clears throat> so... Let's skip on over. Revelation chapter 3 and yeah, right here, verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. What's that hour of temptation? That implementation of the RFID microchip, all right? The mark of the beast, all right? So, hey, we got that hour of temptation is drawing near, man, and we are about to be off the internet, man, okay? They're about to eventually shut this internet down, so I advise you to get this truth while you still can, man, okay? All right, <clears throat> this is Revelation 3 and 10 again. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world, not just some parts of the world, but all the world, to try them that dwell upon the earth. Okay? Alright? So, hey, these are the times we're coming into, man. Okay? And I got to read this scripture because, <laughs> whew, after seeing that video, man, that does something to you in the spirit, man. It's but hey, we know that the Lord, all right, is a, is with us, man. All right, this is Psalm seventy-one and four. Deliver me, O my power, Yahweh, out of the hand of the wicked, out of the hand of the unrighteous and cruel man. Who is that talking about? Esau, even the so-called white man. Okay, we're praying to him to deliver us, man, because hey. This devil is about to come down with great wrath. This devil is about to lose his damn mind, man. All right? And who he's coming for specifically? You Jakes, man. All right? You Jakes are his main target. Why? Because Esau wants that birthright back. Okay? Let's get Revelations chapter 12 and 12. Okay? <clears throat> Rejoice, therefore. It's not here. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. It's talking about you talking about the Israelites, man, 144,000 and one third hopeful neck, man. Okay. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. Okay, woe means destruction. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. Esau even knows his time is short. That's why he's about to come in, man. He's about to come in like a flood. All right, I got to get that scripture. All right, got to get that one since I mentioned it. <laughs> That's the spirit. All right, this is Isaiah chapter 59 and verse 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord Yahweh from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood. And this is what this devil is about to do. This devil is about to come in, man. He's about to roll in on you, Jakes, man. You isn't like you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Okay? But the spirit, 
Let me read that again. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord, Yahweh Shah, shall lift up a standard against him. The Lord is gonna lift up that standard. The men of the Lord are gonna some most of the men of the Lord are gonna be granted those spiritual powers immediately, man, to fight against these devils, man. We're gonna need the Lord Yahweh Shimi How Shai, man, in these times because this devil is about to get ready to lose his fucking mind. <laughs> Shit. Whew. That, that that video, man, that, that video did something to me in the spirit, man. But hey, through the spirit of power, you have by Shion Shai, got to keep on pushing. And hey, got to warn you and sound the alarm, okay? This is Luke chapter 18 and verse 7. And shall not Yahweh avenge his own elect which cried day and night unto him, though he bear along with him? I tell you that he will avenge them speedily, okay? Once he start putting his hands on the elect, he's through. He knows he's through, man. Okay? All right? Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, which is Yahweh Shai, shall he find faith on earth. Okay? But hey, you see in this video, man, he's supposed to ain't going to go for that. Okay? This is coming. All right? This is Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 2. Let's get straight to the point. Okay? All right? Isaiah 9 and 2. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight everyone against his brother, and everyone against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. This is coming, man. This is brewing. All right. And this all this scripture is also brewing too. Second this was the 15th chapter. You know what I'm going. All right, you already know. Second is chapter 15 and verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction drive nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hand. This is brewing, man. Okay, verse 16, here's the point. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. All right, this is coming, man. Okay, verse 17. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Martial law. When shit gets real bad here, when these civil unrest is, these race riots and these race wars, civil clash, this is shit is brewing, man, okay? A lot of stuff is going to lead to this, especially this, all right? <clears throat> and, th and that video is an example of that, man, okay? <clears throat> Verse 18. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Verse 19, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy the houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation, man. Okay, these are the times we're living in, man. All right, it is high time to wake up out of sleep, man. Okay, this ain't no time to be playing games. All right. <sighs> Let's go to the last scripture. I ain't really had no scriptures written down. It's just going through the spirit, man. Okay. This is Romans chapter 13 and 11. And that knowing the time. What time is we living in? This is the time of the end. Okay. That now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now it's our salvation nearer than when we believe. Our salvation is near, man. Okay. We're about to get the hell up out of here. And all right. All praises to you, how about Shimmy Al Shai, man? Because we got to get the hell out of here. We need you, how about Shimmy Al Shai, to come and deliver us, man, out of this 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 hell we're about to go through. You no, know, we're gonna have to go through Jacob's trouble, man. But hey, we got to have faith also that he's gonna deliver us out of this. We need you, how about Shimmy Al Shai, man? Because that video that you saw, man, that ain't no joke. All right. So, hey, it's time for you Israelites to get right, man, because this devil is about to move in on you, Jakes, and he ain't, and this devil ain't going to spare you. They're going to be like madmen sparing none, okay? All right? Uh, let's see. Anything else? That's pretty much all I had, man. All right, I just wanted to uh, do this little quick lesson right quick, all right? So, go on, I pray and hope you were edified. Wake up. Realize the times you're living in. This devil's about to come down with great wrath, man. Okay? So, I'm going to close it out by giving all praises and glory and honor that is due to Yahweh by Shimei Shai by Shimei Kakadash.
Double honors to the elders, apostles, great ones, known rule well. And as always, we give peace and citations to the whole for and let. All right. Till next time, on to the next video. Shalom, Kwam Yasharanga, and Y Ababa Ball. Shalom.